Hello fellow players of Hero Wars. I'm Jay. Welcome to Jay vs. Hero Wars. Today we will be talking about the Hero Wars mobile event, Astral Projections. So we have a Dante rework, right? We also have uh, two new solar skins. We have Dante solar skin and a Martha solar skin. So without further ado, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, so here we are in game. We have the astral projection event, right? And here we have the solar skin for Dante. Dante has actually been reworked. Um, and here we see that his solar skin is a physical attack increaser. Um, we also have a Martha solar skin, which focuses on magic defense. Sadly, unlike Facebook, where... Um, this solar skin provides additional health, which is more beneficial. Um, there is no faceless solar skin, it looks like, which I'm a little bit bummed. I, I liked um, having all three of those, but it is what it is. All right, let's check out the event itself. So here we have Astral Projection, right? Um, and it looks like it's just focusing on Martha and Dante. Uh, so we have Otherworldly Portal, all about logging in daily, and you get Soul Stones of Dante and Martha daily. Uh, we have Endless Depth. This is all about spending energy, pretty standard for these types of events. The cool thing is you get both Dante and Martha Soul Stones, and here they want you to spend 8,000 energy, right? So the next thing that we have is going to be Quantum Field. And here they want you to spend a bunch of emeralds. And again, you get both Dante and Martha soul stones. Here they want you to spend 55,000 emeralds. That seems pretty steep. I mean, Martha is a phenomenal healer. She's the best in the game. Uh, Dante is going to be much improved. Here we have high frequency vibrations, all about purchasing uh, emeralds, right? And so let's take a quick look at Martha and Dante. So Martha, as we all know, is amazing. We have for Mother's Oath, this is all about increasing the speed of Martha's allies, which is a very useful skill, which means more hits, more energy gain, more skills going off. So that is the first skill we have. Next, we have Secret of Longevity. This is all about healing herself. So Martha attacks the opponent with basic attacks, and every time her projectile hits an enemy, uh, Martha regains health. So this is great for having Martha basically heal herself. Um, and we have Tea Party, right? So this is all about conjuring a totem in front of Martha, and this helps regenerate health for each ally. Um, and basically, we have Healing Brew finally, right? Which is all about um, the ally with the least health receiving additional healing. So that is what we are looking at with Martha. Next, we have Dante, who has been reworked, right? And... Dante here, we have Instrument of Fate. Dante throws four spears at multiple enemies, dealing physical damage and pushing the targets back. Now, I don't remember that pushing the targets back being an effect of Dante prior, but that's pretty cool and actually very useful. Uh, we have Foresight, which increases all allies' dodge by seven seconds. So that's pretty cool. It looks like they're finally incorporating a little bit more in the dodge mechanics. Um, here we have Retribution. This is all about... Dante or an ally dodging damage and when that happens right Dante throws a spear uh, and here we have shackles of weakness right so whenever Dante throws a spear from instrument of fate or retribution right so any of the skills Dante decreases the target's main stat for seven seconds and that's pretty huge because um, you got to consider here right those main stats affect multiple stats of a hero. So um, it's not just one particular stat that's going down. It's multiple stats that are being affected by Dante, basically making the opponent exponentially weaker. So this is a major upgrade for Dante compared to where he was at in mobile. Um, additionally, right, this makes me think that Aurora may be a good companion to Dante because Aurora's first artifact gives dodge to the entire team, allowing for Dante's skills to be more effective, right? So he's going to have more of his teammates dodging, which means he's going to be throwing more spears 
and basically continuing to decrease stats of the opponent. So that's a really, really good rework for Dante. Um, I'm actually pretty impressed with how Mobile went about this. Still a little bit bummed and sour that we didn't get a faceless solar skin. Also, I would love to have Yasmin in the game. Still not in the game, so we'll see when or if that even happens. But essentially, that is what we are looking at during this Astral Projection event. We also have the two new solar skins, right, for Dante and Martha. So overall, not a terrible event. Um, there have been a couple better, but that's what we're looking at. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all in Dominion.